All right, everybody, welcome back to another edition of Team Hellbanks here. Here we are at the Uproar Fest. We're here with John, man, from the Dead Daisies. Hey, man. Hey, guys. Gay, I'm a mate here. Gay, yeah. too, man. So, uh, Hello. so I'll be honest with you. Um, you guys are really new to me. Yeah. Um, so I don't know a lot about you, but what I've heard already, it's got me intrigued. So maybe give us a little, uh, little, little, little background, man. What you guys got? Uh, Dead Daisies started about a year ago. Uh, myself and David Lowy out of Australia, Sydney. Um, wrote a bunch of songs, recorded them, and um, <clears throat> ZZ Top went in Sydney and put the Aerosmith and they heard some of their stuff. Basically invited this guy on tour. Australia, oh, wow. New Zealand with the Aerosmith and uh, did a couple of shows at ZZ Top. And from there we kind of got invited to be on the Uproar Festival. So it's all just been pretty, pretty quick and exciting. And, uh, yeah, you know, we've sort of got some, you know, some different players from different bands and, and the group, so you know, that's a pretty uh, eclectic bunch of musicians Absolutely. from all around the world. Absolutely. But, you know, good guys, and uh, it's just, you know, straight ahead rock, sort of tried to make an album, kind of like Free meets Bad Company meets The Faces. Yeah. You know, just a straight ahead rock and roll, big choruses, you know, with guitar riffs, yeah. and uh, melodic. Yeah, and that's actually what, what, what really drew me to this band was just, like you said, straight up rock and roll. There's no there's no frills, there's no, you know, like uh, different genre types. You no. know, like, oh, this kind of metal or this kind of rock, whatever. It's just straight up rock and roll, and that's what I love about it. Oh, thank um, you. you know, we, we do have some ties. Uh, we got some got some good friends down there in Australia, too, Perth and Sydney. Yeah. Uh, other bands down there and stuff like that, too. Your take on the uh, Australian rock scene? Oh, it's uh, Australian rock scene is great. It's always, like, you know, certainly. Uh, when my old band Noiseworks, when we were starting out, I mean, in the, in the mid 80s, and late, late 80s, and 90s, you know, you got bands like, you know, Midnight Oil, In Excess, uh, Gone Juice, and yeah. The Angels, and all these bands, you know, uh, we just played, we're playing every night of the week yeah, in the pubs, you know, and so we sort of, you learn pretty, pretty well over the years, you know, how to, how to you know, uh, show up on stage, because if you didn't show up, you got shit, shit thrown at you. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so, so, you know, it's a commitment. The, the pub scene was, you know, you had to be committed fully, 100% fully, yeah. no bullshit. So, you know, with the 90s and the noughties coming, you know, coming around with all the different technology and yeah. taking over and, you know, uh, I look at music today and I go, I don't even know what's real anymore. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I really just wanted to make a, a straight ahead rock record, no frills, and just, you know, we all the songs are written on acoustic guitar. And yeah. I, I have a, you know, I figured they can stand up like this guitar and they can sound any, anything. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and that's a testament to true musicianship, you know, without all the bells and whistles and all the, the tuning and all, you know, all this auto-tuning and all that oh, stuff. Oh, no, we go out of tune pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you know, it's, it's you know, that's, I think that's the purest part of, of music, you know, and, you know, if it stands up on an acoustic guitar, yeah. know, it's gold, man. Yeah. Awesome. What's, what, you know, what's one thing, um, you know, I'm always curious as a local musician here in the States, um, what are some of the cultural differences between like live music, um, you know, in Australia and here? Probably the biggest cultural difference is you know 300 million people as opposed to 25 million people. Yeah. So there's a, you know you know you can certainly uh, you know earn a living and quite a good living here in America in complete obscurity. Yeah. Whereas in Australia it's just a small market uh, and you know you can get you know oversaturated pretty quickly. Well, yeah. Um, and our difference is you know you know the distances. I mean you, you know you travel. Australia like 400 is miles. America. Yeah, you travel 400 miles there to the next town. Yeah, it's, it's, Here, you, you hit at least 18 towns on the... Yeah, on the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I mean, it, it's nothing to drive to a gig for four hours and then drive back after the gig another four hours. Right. Yeah. Normal. <laughs> so, um, so what's... Uh, you guys are on the uproar tour right now. What's what's next for you guys? What's, what's What will follow this? Uh, we finish um, third week of September. We actually did some re new recordings in uh, New York and we're up there last week. Yeah. Three days in the studio with this current lineup, and uh, got some new songs on the go, which is pretty exciting. Considering that the day's album is brand new, just out in America, yeah. uh, we're already, you know, thinking of uh, 2014 as you do. Uh, we're working with cats, and just want to be, just be creative, you know. So that's pretty exciting for us. Um, we're going to uh, finish that off uh, at the end of this tour for the songs we recorded in New York, and then uh, back to Australia for the month of October, and then. Uh, November, December, we're in Europe, UK. Oh, yeah. Um, touring over there. Yeah. 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 So I mean, like you said, you know, it's been it's been pretty busy, pretty fast, you know, for the last year and a half, two years. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's been probably more like ten months. Really. Wow. Pretty purely because of the word of mouth thing. I mean, 
we were invited to go to UK with uh, you know Finn Lissy, yeah, Black Star Rider, and then I called to tour with them, which is once again based on the people hearing what we're doing and just word of mouth. So we invited, fortunately, um, you know we're up for it, so what? Awesome. Well. Um, where, where can everybody find out you guys are uh, The Dead Daisies dot com. You can go there and uh, have a look, check it out. If you like it, awesome. If you don't, well, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm noticing you're uh, you're nursing a foot there. What's going on? I'm nursing this fella here. <laughs> this fella here. Wow. Uh, it was a week before. I, so this is what happens in Australia. You know, you kind of figure we're going away. I'm going away for a couple of months to America. I've been touring in Australia, just doing my own thing and. Uh, I feel like you just go fishing. Fishing in Australia is quite a big thing if you go up the Northern Territory or far north Queensland. Uh, I was in a pretty isolated place and um, thought to get some R&R &R before coming up here. And there was mud crabbing and um, mud crabs and big holes. You have to stick with a hook on it. So you get down with a hook and you're trying to get these big, big mud crabs out. They're really delicious to eat. And uh, we got a few muddies and all of a sudden a crocodile came up about 10 feet away. So. I went the other way, of course, <laughs> and uh, my foot went in a hole, I fell forward, snapped my thumb in half, and broke my leg, and uh, that's a week for us coming over here, <laughs> about a week and a half. Fishing in Australia is not for pansies. No, it's yeah, not. That's, extreme, that's some extreme, extreme fishing. No, man, it's on the Great Barrier Reef, it's a place called Haggerstone Island. In fact, look it up, haggerstoneisland.com. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's like a Robinson Crusoe joint. It's amazing. Absolutely. So you've been you've been nursing this thing the whole time. Tour. Yeah, I, I I got out of the hospital at 8 a.m. on a Tuesday, and I was on a 1 p.m. flight from Sydney to New York. Oh wow. 24 hours later, I get off the plane. I'm straight into rehearsal. The boys had already been there for three days. And, and it's a true testament, you know. Show never stops, man. That, that mentality, rock and roll, keep going. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so, it's just like you're doing it. Yeah. Right. No pansies in this man. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, thank Thanks, you for your man. time, brother. Pleasure, man. Man, we're gonna yeah, check nice you guys out. Too, and uh, you know, this is Charlie and Gabe, and Helen, John, we're out. Yes. We're